Hello, Carolina Girl Hoop Report followers. We are here on day two on the CGHR Road to the Chip at Wilson High School in Florence, South Carolina. I have with us Clarksville Christian School out of Clarksville, Tennessee, head coach Trenton Hassel. Trenton Hassel, thank you for joining us. No, thank you for having us. We enjoy it. This is the second trip that you guys have made down to my neck of the woods. You came to Concord in the fall. Talk about these trips and getting your team out on the road and what does this do for them in regards to chasing another state championship? I love the trips. Uh, they help us prepare for later on down the road when we play in our state uh, tournament, our district tournament, and uh, NACA. We get competition that we probably wouldn't face at home. We get challenges. We It helps us build as a team, help us learn what we got to get better at against league competition. So it's worth the drive. You have put your team through one of the um, toughest. You know, the, Everyone has these RPI ratings and strength of schedules. You played the number one, two, and three ranked players in the senior class this year. Um, um, uh, Grace Christian and Sarah Strong back on December 2nd in my event. You just played against uh, um, uh, Joyce Edwards in Camden High School here in Wilson last night. But then you also played against Mount Verde, who's you know one of the top teams in the country, and Jelani Cambridge, who's from the state of Tennessee. <laughs> You've seen her a lot, um, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Talk about what does that mean to your program and the gauntlet that you've put these kids on to prepare them for future basketball? It means a lot. It's about growing through uh, adversity. And uh, the, be the best team uh, the best players, they learn how to grow and win games through adversity. And we're not winning in games right now, but we're getting close. We're getting closer each time. Uh, it helps get my younger girls who got aspirations to go to the next level, to be on that level. It helps shows them what it takes and what you got to do as far as work ethic, toughness, and uh, executing a game plan out there. So it's only going to make us better. So when we play other teams, we used to playing dogs. <laughs> yeah, so I just think it's going to help build confidence. It's going to help us grow as a program in years to come. Being around you during a basketball game day, um, you are what people like to say is a master tactician. You give your girls the information to be successful beyond the court. You know what I'm saying? But what you're telling them to do on the court is what is going to be going to help them in the game at the time. Where does that come from and how are you able to manage all of that information? Well, it comes from me playing. Uh, I was a scorer in high school and college, but when I got to the league, I was a defender. So you always had to study. You always have to, okay, Kobe liked to do this, Paul Pierce liked to do this. So you had to really know the game, take up tendencies. And I'm trying to teach my girls that uh, they're having a hard time <laughs> sometimes being consistent, doing it in the game. They show spurts. So that's why I think we're struggling sometimes in some of these big games because we can't continue doing that and that's the process that we got to learn. We wouldn't be able to know that if we played cupcakes all the time. So it's helping us understand that like to beat these teams that are hanging this game, we've got to be consistent the whole game. Absolutely, absolutely. You guys um, have just played a tremendous schedule, tremendous. Uh, your daughter, 2027, uh, the wing forward Lauren Hassel has played great. Her matchup with Joyce Edwards last night was a thing that college coaches, big time college coaches, Virginia Tech was in the gym watching it, really watching some of the best players in the country. I thank you again for giving you know me and my platform this opportunity, and uh, we're going to finish off strong today against Oak City Prep, and I look forward to seeing you again next year. Oh, thank you. We'll be back. <laughs>